So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. <laughs> oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the <clears throat> internet. I mean, I bet you have all <clears throat> sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but... I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Huh. Not much to see here. Well? Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest for by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, <laughs> tire tracks. Buckle up, Someone everybody! came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, oh see? shit. Hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <clears throat> and go! And 
No. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Yeah. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. I know how to do it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Damn. And they figured all that out. Oh, shit. Stop, stop. Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. What the? How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. We'd like to get it over with and move on. How long we posted? Yeah. It's all orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? <laughs> oh, oh, sit oh. tight, so we sit tight. Waste of resources. Just put me in charge. Okay. 
effort to hold him down in half the time. Considering the last time you had some explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Half the time, though. I'll be sure to run that bomb with you. Let's go, gentlemen. It's gonna be a hot, long day, and we have lots to do. Those Drake boys show their pretty faces. You all know what to do. We'll serve them right, too. Just hope I bag them first. <laughs> Your shaky hands couldn't do anything till they get in bludgeoning distance. I'm afraid it'll be my honor. <gasps> Got them right here! They're on us! Thanks, little brother. No sweat. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Easy. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Staying in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. 
I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. Check it out, boys. What is it? Cool. Holy shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as <laughs> pirate treasure? Maybe. Out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Be careful, kid. <clears throat> Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam, special delivery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer.
Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Ah, oh no. Guys! Ah! These clowns are really getting on my nerves. Nothing so far. Found anything? Negative. You check over there, I'll search here. Got it.
Wait. Imagine that. Nothing here. Nothing over here. You? <laughs> My side's clean. <laughs> oh, be this way. Sure thing, man. Before more shorelines show up. Hey. Now, let's get that bridge down. Let's try that again. There we go. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Well, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in it. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partner how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be part of it. <laughs> ah, ah. <coughs> All set. Here we go. Shit, shit, shit. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. I am 
very much panic in here. The cable's gonna snap! Nate! You hit the gas! Pull us up! I got you! Come on, come on! You okay? I've been better. Get us out of this, kid. All right, hang on. Now, Mary, pull the face of Lord is with you. Bless her, the above women, and bless her, the food of their womb. Easy, kid. Easy. Well, that was fun, right? Yeah, well, I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Got the whole thing under control. <laughs> Change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? 
More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrell. And that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Well, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <coughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... If we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, our treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Oh, shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm going to take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. 
No, no, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. If you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. 